Today we're going to install a new headlight on a 2015 Jeep Compass. Man, that girl's tore up. Alright, I just removed this headlight from this 2015 Jeep Compass and we're going to install the new one. Here's the new one. Go ahead and set it into place. Actually, before we set it into place, what we have to do is connect all these pigtails. So we'll go ahead and connect them accordingly. This one goes on this one here. This one goes connected to this one here. This one there goes to this one here. This one here goes to this last one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect those real quick because I'm gonna need both hands. All right, once you have everything connected, it should look something like this. This one has a little safe latch, so make sure you latch it back down. All right, now this headlight is ready to be placed into its place. There's a little hook right here. Hook it in there, hold it into place. Make sure you, oh, you're gonna wanna make sure you put it in here first, I guess. Whoa, this is why you need two hands. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, whoa, okay. I was making sure this doesn't have a little rubber seal or anything that went in here, cause that hole looked pretty big. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use both hands real quick. Okay, <laughs> so you need two hands to do this, man. First, you try to put it in there, and then you put it up there, and then it holds itself into place. See, I knew there was a third one. The other one was broken. Off the one I removed, not this one. Uh, so next, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna remove this little safety a little bit from the sides, from here. Make sure we grab it all out. Perfect. And we'll just leave it on the headlight still. Just don't want it to get caught on the bump or anything. We'll leave it like that. Perfect. You know, that way we don't damage it completely as we're putting something back together. Okay, <clears throat> so these are the two that you're gonna use. Well, three. I'm sure it probably looked like this. But this one's going to go up here. This one is a 10 millimeter. As well as this bottom one down here. So I'm going to go ahead and secure them real quick. That is plastic, so not too tight. All right. It's perfect. Since we don't have the one for here. Gosh. Looks like it might need it. Helps it balance it. Let me see if I find something real quick. All right, I didn't find the correct screw like this one here, but I'm gonna put this one here since it is the correct one to hold that one there. And I found this one. It's not the right size, it's not the right thread. Some of y'all might hit me for this, but I'm gonna drive it in. I don't have a lot to go, so hopefully this should be enough. That's enough. I probably cross-threaded it, but it's okay. It's on there. Now we have this one. This one was an eight millimeter. This one's a 10. <laughs> you see me shaking, not the headlight. That shit's solid. Look, I moved the whole freaking car. That shit's hella solid. Look at the bumper swinging back and forth. All right, so there it is. So that's mounted. Now, what we're gonna do is slap the bumper back on, just like so. There it is. There it is. We could put these in for right now. These are 30 torque screw. 
this one here goes into this one here and that way it just holds the front bumper together bam like brand spanking new now we just gotta clip all these ends back into place and I'll use both hands on this side too to put the bumper back together and when you do this this fender well the wheel well it's gonna go inside there it is like that this has a little lip right here so we're gonna pick this up like so and everything just falls into place already Oops, sorry I need a camera man there it is now we're gonna do this other side Same thing here. Let's push all of this in. This here. We're gonna lift this up and push up and in. All right, on this side, just clip everything back together. There it is. All right, next thing we're gonna do is put this shroud back into place. Uh, this one is gonna go right underneath. All of this right here. Um, this one here too. This one here too. Sorry, I'm concentrated on what I'm doing and not the camera. All right, and these are going to be 20 Torx. Pick them all up. Here is the 20, and here's the 30. 30s for this big one, which I'll do right now and then the 20s for these small ones, all the way right here. So let me go ahead and mount these and all these torque screws into place. All right, and these. All right, and that's how it should look like after you're completed. All right, next step we're gonna do is we're gonna insert these screws. We'll start on this side. Actually, I'm sorry, forgot about these little plastic retainers. They go here and right here. And it also looks like there's some missing here and here. Whoops, not my fault, I only took out the two. All right, now we'll move on to the side. All right, this top one's gonna be a 10 millimeter. These bottom ones are going to be a seven millimeter oops this one's the eight. here's the correct one my bad seven not too tight just enough all right now we'll move on to the next side and what we're gonna have to do is start the engine turn the wheel to this side that way we have clearance turn off the car now we have clearance here like we did on the other side this first one is gonna be a 10 and these other ones oops it's gonna be sevens all right and we'll tie up the sevens first since that's the one I have on right now doesn't really matter what order you go, as long as you get it done. All right. Now the last thing we gotta do is put in this air intake trap. I don't think this is the right one. We're gonna have to order the correct one. Then it goes to the tab here. Tab there, secured in place. Missing tubes that two tabs there. But other than that. Boom, that's how you replace the headlight on a 2015 Jeep Compass. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.